three years ago, uh, Dr. Boris Smith uh, has made the decision to uh, open a new institute at Tel Aviv University with a simple and a straightforward goal to change the world for the better. So uh, we have been working very hard ever since to uh, make a good use of uh, Dr. Min's generosity and to do exactly what he has asked us to do. One of the areas where we are making uh, very interesting and significant uh, progress is precisely in the field of uh, helping poor farmers around the globe. Uh, together with uh, the MANA program in life sciences uh, and some other uh, entrepreneurial forces at Tel Aviv University. Uh, but really thanks to uh, a group of uh, very uh, excited, wonderful students of ours, uh, we have made serious progress in uh, contributing knowledge and uh, just know-how into uh, this area. Two years ago, uh, Dr. Mintz decided to add to the package an annual prize uh, that will uh, be awarded to a person who combines uh, academic powers with uh, impact on the ground uh, in a direction that can be uh, shown to have actually literally helped real people. People who know me know that I always complain that academia doesn't do enough of a good job helping people for the reason for which it exists. So here we are trying to change the course of history and to get academia to be more helpful to real people who need real help. So uh, lucky we are that uh, this year, after a long and uh, somewhat technical, somewhat tedious process of uh, selecting the AOD of this new prize, uh, we have had, I must uh, emphasize, a group of uh, incredibly exciting nominees from the best universities in the world, uh, a committee of international experts, not experts from here, from different universities around the globe, has uh, picked uh, Professor uh, Michael Kramer from Harvard uh, to be the OOD of this year. And it's uh, wonderful because uh, one can hardly think of a person who has contributed uh, in such a way to exactly this topic that we have been making some progress on, namely helping the poorest of the poor uh, through uh, technology and uh, different aspects of know-how to deal uh, with health issues, to deal with education, and as he calls his uh, lecture today, uh, digital agriculture in the developing world. We will now uh, let uh, Dr. Boris Mintz address the audience with uh, 10 minutes of his own remarks, his own vision, and this will be followed by the uh, lecture that is always part of winning the prize by the uh, laureate of this year's prize, uh, Professor Michael Kramer from Harvard. Dr. Min, thank you. <clears throat>
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very glad to greet all the members of the advisory board and the International Academic Committee and all the associates of the Institute and University. I want to personally thank everyone for being present here and all the work which was done in the past three years. I want to express my gratitude to the laureate of the Boris Mintz Institute Prize, Professor Michael Kramer, as well as Dr. Anat Admati and Dr. David Feldman to outside in academic individuals who were kind enough to help us choose the winner. I want to share my thoughts and remarks in regards to what we, to what we wanted to do and what we ended up with. Three years ago, ago, when we were opening our institute, we have set a goal of ourselves to analyze local and global challenges in different regions that the modern civilization faces, including but not limited to food and water security, renewable energy, and conflict resolution and middle class crisis. I wanted to point out that we have certainly achieved significant results due to distribution intellectuals who we have been working with. First of all, we have accomplished cooperation with world's leading institute of the international scale. We are working with professors and students from university and institutes in the United States, in the United Kingdom, Germany, India, Armenia, Kenya, and Malta. It is important to notice that the research of global challenges is possible only on the basis of united international experts from all around the globe. We were start, starting here in Israel three years ago and already advanced through session in Finland where we were discussed the developing system in 2007 on Malta, debating the challenges of desertification and extract, extraction of fresh water, where we have laid a foundation towards future partnership between BMI and Malta University. And there in Georgia and Armenia, talking about small transition economies, looking at the example of two similar countries in the size and location. Apart from the every year we have session here at Tel Aviv University, after the session, of our institute where we release reports which include recommendations for policy markets. Also, starting from last year, we award prize to our senior researchers who have devoted their academic life to solving global challenges of hum hum humanity and the first one went to Professor Jeffrey Sachs, a unique scientist in the scope of economics from the University of Columbia. Today, we are 
gathered to award the prize to our distinguished guest, Professor Michael Kramer from the University of Harvard for his remarkable work in the field of inequality and poverty reduction. From the moment when we, the Institute was established, the palette of global issues has just expanded. Humanity went from post-industrial economy to the innovative economy. The consequences of which have been studied fragmentarily and superficially, which on it is own is a global challenge. The challenge of the economic system is, is occurring at the same time as the change in generations, from generation X to generation Y, which have absolutely different culture code and values. Of this process requires fundamental reform starting from the education system, social politics, and finishing with the super national government system. With all this in mind, in my opinion, it is obvious that no matter what changes would be occurring in the lead, a concrete person should stay, a person that is free decision-making and has a possibility to deciding his own fate. Only people like this are able to solve their own problems and united global challenges. I'm very happy with what we have achieved, achieved in the last three years and I want to congratulate and personally thank everyone who was partaking in the process. Thank you very much.